Pisces. I am your astrologer wonder girl taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, June 18th to Sunday, June 24th, 2018. Now what we've got going on this week, super important for you Pisces, it's your ruler, Neptune, going retrograde right here in your first house on Tuesday, which is in your sign. Um, and I think what's been going on there with Neptune going direct, perhaps you've been trying to figure out uh, lately, since the beginning of this year, uh, who you really are, your identity, how you can be more of who you are, let more of your um, self out, <laughs> express yourself in a way that really resonates with you on the inside, to create more of an identity, doing the things that it is that you naturally like to do. With Neptune here, there could have been some confusion about who that is, about how you can express yourself in a better way, although you, of all the signs, know how to deal with Neptune. <laughs> Um, more than the others okay and I think with Neptune going retrograde this week it's helping you to get more of an idea more clarity on who you are and on what you need to do to let more of your authentic self um, out so that other people can do that so that you can feel really comfortable being who it is that you are I do like that maybe there's been a lot of things too lately in your life a lot of things that you've been doing that really excite you and I think Neptune retrograde as well is going to help you narrow things down to focus in on a few things about you that you really like that are important to you so that you can take those things and let them kind of flower and bloom from here on out all right so that's what I see going on there. While that's happening on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, we also do have Venus conjunct the North Node in Leo. Uh, and that for you, Pisces, is going to be in your sixth house of your job and your daily routine. So I think you're starting to get a better idea of who you are, of what's important to you, uh, of what, what um, would make you feel the most comfortable in your life as a whole. And as a result of that, hopefully are starting to feel much better about your job, about your daily routines, about what you do on the day to day, about your um, physical or external existence here with the sixth house. Maybe also starting to feel healthier uh, as well, hopefully with the North Node here. Um, I think Venus in a conjunction with the North Node too is also making it a lot easier for you to work with other people at your job or on the day to day to do the things that you want and need that can really make you feel better as an individual. Venus on the North Node as well, if it's not relationship related, I think can also help you with money, to bring more money in, to use more of your gifts and skills and talents and to be respected more for your talents at your job, on the day to day, doing things that again are really important to you. So I do see that going on um, and I do like it. I like a lot of things going on this week to be honest. Another thing that I like, especially for you being a water sign, is Mercury in Cancer on Wednesday. And Cancer for you rules your fifth house of happiness. Love, romance, also kids if you have any kids. Um, passion projects, entrepreneurial ventures fall into this house. So as you're starting to get more of a hang on your job, on your daily routines and what your days look like and how you can organize them better, work with people better, feel more confident using more of your talents on the day to day in a positive way, I think you're also thinking about how you can be happy in life, how you can enjoy your life more, do more passion projects, work more with kids in a way that I think um, yeah, that, that I think is going to be better for you. All right. Um, Mercury on Wednesday, as it's in Cancer, is going to be in a trine to Jupiter um, in Scorpio, uh, which for you is going to be in your ninth house of something new and different that you have not done before. And I think what that's going to bring on Wednesday is a chance for you to find more happiness doing something new, to find more passion in life, to get excited about life, maybe doing something new that you have been doing for some time. <laughs> um, I really do think that, right, there is a good opportunity for you this week, Pisces, to organize your life better, to figure out what you need on the day to day, and to start to adjust your emotions accordingly in a really positive way to help you just enjoy life more and let more of your heart come out. Okay, and to understand what you need to do, perhaps that's new or that's different in order to bring more of the joy back in. Yeah. 
uh, Mercury as well um, a day after not just trining Jupiter but also trining Neptune in your first while Jupiter and Neptune are trining each other in a grand water trine I think again really helping you to have a new identity to do new or different things that you enjoy to let more of your heart show to find more of the excitement in your life all right so I do like it a lot. I like it a lot for you, Pisces. Organizing your daily routines and figuring out more what you need to be happy and living that, <laughs> living that happiness, hopefully, and enjoying life more. Now, while that's going on on Thursday and Friday, we also do have Mars here on the South Node in an opposition with Venus. And Mars in the South Node is in your 12th house of your insides, um, your spirituality and of the past. So as I see, to be honest, I see so many good things going on for you here. Getting a better job, figuring out what you need to do on your job in the day to day, maybe doing something new or different that makes you happy on the day to day. Uses what you feel like it really resonates with you. I think there are some things maybe inside that you don't feel quite right about Maybe there are some things as well from the past that are still maybe holding you back that you still feel like is lingering around The past is still around or there's some things inside feelings emotions thoughts that are maybe making it hard for you to move into um, th this better routine to be happier to enjoy your life and I think with Mars in the south node needing to be patient if there's still some things in the past that are lingering that you don't feel quite right about <clears throat> needing to be patient as well if internally spiritually there are some things that are in disarray it will come into it will come it will get better you will understand how to deal with those things better but it's just a matter of focusing on the other things first maybe doing something new that you enjoy doing something different seeing yourself totally different than you've seen yourself before as you organize your life and your job in a better way before the inner peace can come in before you can fully um, break ties with the past and move on okay um, so that's what's happening there then as we move further throughout the week on Friday and Saturday we also do have the Sun in cancer in your fifth house make a sextile over to Uranus in Taurus in your third house of talk and communication so again I do see on the weekend positive conversations uh, that may occur about what you need to be happy or you yourself may receive some unexpected insight about what you need to enjoy life more to work better with kids to work on a passion project uh, in a positive way even if you don't feel like you're there yet even if you feel like there are still some things from the past that are holding you down some things inside that don't feel quite right I do think there are some good insights this week to make you feel happier about your life enjoy your life more organize things in a better and different way than it has been previously all right um, the challenge though does come in a little bit on the weekend I think to me Saturday and Sunday are the hardest days of the week um, compared to the others which I like and now on Saturday what occurs then is the Sun after making the sextile with Uranus then makes a square to Chiron in your second house of money also in your second house of stability confidence of your gifts and skills and talents so maybe you're getting insights on what you need to do differently in order to enjoy life more, to have a better set of daily routines, to have a better job, a better daily existence. And maybe that um, is making it hard for you to find the stability in your life. Maybe it's making hard for you to find the confidence that you need to do these other things that you're being called to that I think are exciting. Um, so maybe that could be a little bit hard. Maybe as well the money is not there. You're trying to figure out well, how can I use my money to be happy to finance something that I need to enjoy life more as well. That could be difficult. And I think perhaps not needing to not let those fears get the best of you. If there are any fears about your stability, about your talents um, in life. And to just allow yourself to think about what it is that you need to enjoy life more. And to let more of your heart, your love, your passion for life come out. And to create more of the structures in your life that you need to support the joy to come in more and more. Even if you're a little bit, even if there's some things that are decent stabilizing in the process um, yeah as you do it all okay the last thing I want to mention is also going to be on Saturday and Sunday and that's with the mercury in your fifth house it's going to oppose Pluto here in your 11th house of your goals your dreams and your hopes for the future 
And I think what that can bring are some very intense conversations, not always pretty with Pluto involved, <laughs> um, but some very intense or strong conversations here about where you see your life going. Maybe where your life has been going is changing. You're having different goals, different dreams about your future, socializing with different people. And maybe it's hard for you to be happy now as your goals and your dreams are changing. They think you're trying to figure out here, where's my life going and how do I lead my life in a good direction that I enjoy to do more of that. All right, and I think that's what you're trying to figure out. I do see lots of positive things coming for you, to be honest. You know, uh, organizing your life better, doing more of what it is that you enjoy. It may just be a matter of um, adjusting your perspective in the process of seeing your future differently, of working with different people, different groups of people in different ways that may be necessary so that you can fully let um, these good things into your life overcome the past and maybe find more of that um, inner peace that you need all right yeah I think last week with Mercury in an opposition with Saturn um, you already were thinking very seriously about where your life is going about your future about who you're going to associate with trying to make some decisions about that but I think there are still more things that are left to be worked out especially with Mercury this week in the opposition with Pluto so I do think this is going to be a recurring theme especially because the Sun is going to be there in a few weeks for a new moon solar eclipse and in opposition with Pluto in this exact same spot that Mercury is on Saturday of this week so I think right now you're just starting to get more and more information, more and more details of what it is that you need to change or do differently in order to let more joy into your life, in order to lead your life in a better direction that you're going to be working out more and more over the next few weeks. And I do think you Pisces especially have a big opportunity to structure your days better, doing more of the things that you enjoy. This may require you to do something new and exciting, <laughs> which isn't so bad, um, and to see your future um, differently than you have been, different possibilities, all right? Um, so that's what I've got there for you Pisces. Now your card is the King of Swords, upright. I like this card. <laughs> um, he's one of wisdom. Um, and he's one of, let's see, of, of knowledge and of knowing, um, I think. In the King of Swords, he has a lot of experience. I think what this week is a good week for with this card. I don't know, I'm drawn to Neptune. Um, in your first house going retrograde. I think this week is actually a good week to make decisions, to get clarity on situations that have been really confusing, maybe in the past. I do, I see like this king, like cutting through anything that's been hard and like opening up perspectives, doors that have been locked, ideas um, that were not available previously. And I think that's the message maybe which is kind of interesting because this is such like a water heavy week and you're a water sign and you do very well with water signs, which are very pretty. But maybe um, this king is also saying, use your emotions, listen to your emotions, but don't forget to engage your mind as well, um, to use your feelings to better inform your decisions, to better inform your thoughts, or to use your thoughts and the things in your mind to better inform your emotions so that you can have your intellect and your mind and your emotions sorry, work better together to give you the path forward. And I think if you can combine both of those things, then you will be golden um, to help clear the path forward to get what you want. This card as well, Upright, can also seek advice. So if you feel like things aren't working out uh, for you in the way that you want, although to be honest, Pisces, I do like your chart. It may also be helpful to seek advice from someone else or to have conversations um, in a more clear and precise manner with other people about what you need, about what they need before you can proceed, okay? So that's what I've got for you this week, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.